pretty this year. Right, it's a nasty rumor. The fact is, they're the 50 best-looking Miss American Beauty delegates we've ever had. Prettier than when you won, Miss Lauren? Oh, I couldn't carry their makeup, kids. I doubt if any of them have the career in movies you've had. Uh, who knows? Miss Lowry, can you categorically state that it would be impossible to fix this contest? Oh, impossible. Does that mean nobody's ever tried? Oh, no, it's because they have tried that I say it's impossible. Now then, uh, as director, I'll make myself available for any questions 24 hours a day until the final judging. Now, the, the girls back there at the marked tables have your ID badges and room assignments. Uh, I suggest, however, you go outside first. Our contestants will be arriving any minute now. Thank you, Miss Lowry. Good morning, Dan. Oh, hello, Peg. Something wrong? No, no. How did your uh, press conference go? Oh, the same as usual. Are the girls prettier this year? Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera. What about Mr. Elliot of the news? Is he still <laughs> pressing about being fixed? Oh yes, but I was ready for him. Uh, I hope he's satisfied. Peg, I don't have to tell you what would happen if there's the slightest basis for a rumor that this contest isn't on the level. Oh, Dan, you're acting as if you expect something to explode. I don't. Then I guess I do. It's not the same anymore. Oh, for 1945 again. The war was over. Optimism, faith. Oh, don't forget Mom's apple pie and the right to boo the Dodgers. Yes, well, I guess we did it ourselves. Going public, coast to coast television, higher stakes and with it more risks. The beauty business has certainly become big business, and with it the motto seems to be, make a deal, make a deal. Everybody does. Not as long as I'm director of this contest. Oh, Peg. I know I can count on you. It's the the new people on the staff. Now, look, Dan, please don't worry. If I just get a whiff of any deal in the works, we'll kill it together, along with whoever's guilty. Can I assume his American beauty is a permanent assignment? Let's uh, get out of this cattle call. And uh, can I assume you're here on business? You can even print it on business as a judge. Again, the lore of beauty, huh? I was asked, I agreed. Huh. Well, one of Hollywood's most successful producers uh, gives class to this whole mess. Well, thank you. I'm always interested in new faces. Not to mention bodies. They go together, don't they? Exactly, Miss America, but uh, I'll take second best. I'm Janice Brock, Miss Utah. Pamela Parker, New Jersey. Scared? Why? I haven't got a chance. Oh, come on, you're not going to give me that tokenism bit. Just said the magic word. Well, then why did you enter in the first place? Because the town I'm from in New Jersey is the last place. Hey, I like you. I hope we get to see lots of each other. We will. And tell you what, after we lose, why don't we pick up a couple of dudes and get stoned? And before I was Miss Ohio, I was Miss Farm Girl and Miss Kind of Girl Sweetheart to you. Wow. <laughs> but this is the first time I've been away without my folks. Melinda, may I say that you don't have anything to worry about? You'll be as safe here as in your very own home. <laughs> There's only one thing that can really happen to you here, and that's glory. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Corson. You're very welcome, dear. Uh -huh. Thank you. Hi. Oh, I'm Angelique Denby. And uh, you're Peggy Lowry. Yes. And you're Miss Maine. Uh, you know, I know the names of every picture you've ever been in. Oh? <laughs> but if I told you, you'd probably just be bored. No. I think you're very clever for having done your homework. My homework? <laughs> Being Miss American Beauty was my first break, but my second was finding an agent who told me to do my homework. I got the best part I ever had by talking about football. The producer was an all-conference halfback from Rutgers, and I memorized every touchdown he ever made. <laughs> you don't think I'm sincere? You're a beautiful girl and smart. 
And sincerity doesn't count. You can go now. I'm impressed. Okay. And who is this girl? Ralph, what are you doing here? Now, Peggy, as a director, you're supposed to know everything, including that Wallace came down with the flu. Are you taking his place? Well, I did very well when I judged before. And now will you please answer my question? Miss Maine is Angelique Denby. I don't have her info sheet yet. No, but you've seen the other girls. Uh, excuse the pun, but how does Miss Denby stack up? Excuse the question, but why? For my personal info sheet. term used by ladies of breeding who are not quite with it. Oh. Well, we'd best get our lovely Miss Oklahoma registered and get started with local recruiting. Oh, the uh, main picket forces will be here tomorrow. We're all behind you, Gloria. If you make it, they'll only give you 50 seconds for your speech. Don't worry. 50 seconds is enough time for me to tell the world how the women of today really feel about beauty contests. I worry somebody's going to find out you with women's lib and you won't even make it to the finals. Not in the finals. With a 3.8 in political science and my Beethoven Pure Elise. Play along. Do anything to win. Just get us those 50 seconds. Well, we won't see you until the big night. We'll do our part. We trust you to do yours. I will. And before 25 million people watching on TV, I will make a speech that will ruin every beauty contest in the world. Forever. Miss Oklahoma. Well, Miss Oklahoma is very lovely this year. Thank you. If you don't mind my saying so, a bit too much makeup. Oh, I'm afraid of that. I'll rinse it all off right away. Yeah, one moment. Use this. It's the official brand. Okay. You'll get the official mascara in the morning. Okay. Yes, <laughs> indeed you will, Miss Rockwell. Now, a good night's sleep. We want our girls as fresh as daisies in the morning. Mrs. Carstairs will sign you in right over there. I'm Joe Bunch, and this little lady's Miss T.L. Dawson from the great state of Texas. Well, nice to see you. Welcome. How are you doing there, fella? Fine. Just fine. Thank you. Well, Miss Texas is very lovely this year. I'm uh, Dan Corson, and this is our contest director, Miss Peggy Lowry. How do you do, ma'am? Well, I, I guess that's where we sign up, huh? Uh, where Miss Dawson signs up. You can't stay here. What do you mean? You are one of our most attractive contestants, Miss Dawson. And with luck, this could be the beginning of the biggest year of your life. Now, you wouldn't want to risk that by breaking the rules, would you? Rules? Written and unwritten. Oh, I assume you're her boyfriend. Since the sixth grade. <laughs> yes, well, that's very nice, but we just can't have him here, you see. It would really be best if you watched it on TV in Texas. Yes. Now, you wait just a minute. Oh, now, you wait a minute, Miss Dawson. And think, winning means a year on tour alone. Now, what judge is going to think of breaking up a romance? I told you I never should have entered. Well, she's got a point, honey. I need you here. Moral support. Uh, either he goes, or you'd both be better off leaving. Well, that settles it then. Good luck, T.L. Now, wait, wait. Uh, there's no rule that says Joe can't stay at some motel, is there? Well, as long as you're not seen together, as long as you don't advertise your relationship. Well, that's a stupid rule. Well, it's only a week. 
Uh, Mrs. Carstairs can sign you in right over there. Come on, T.L. Wait, that's going to be trouble. So's Ralph Dupre. I thought I had some veto rights about the judges. Oh, now, Peggy, Dupre is a very important man. He's a motion picture producer. He'll give us added press. And we always need all the help we can get. You know that. Well, I'm not so sure he's such a help. Girl, long before I ever dreamed tonight. Pace, Gloria, pace. Draw it out. Make them think you're straight. When I was a little girl, long before I ever dreamed of tonight, we were studying where our food comes from. And our teacher, Miss Marple, took our class to the stockyards. And we all watched the cattle being driven up a ramp. And this is the same ramp. We women are not cattle led to slaughter for your sick fantasies. We are not bodies in bathing suits to be exploited year after year before millions of people. Hello, Gloria. Hello. I'm your official chaperone, Kay Earnshaw. Well, hi. <laughs> Come on in. Thank My you. Official chaperone. That's mm -hmm. terrific. <laughs> Dear, uh, try not to use words like terrific or um, marvelous or sensational. The judges are, well, they seem to be prejudiced against them. Well, thanks for the information, Kay. If I may call you Kay, I wouldn't have it any other way. You know, I really think we ought to have a little talk tonight, but I think I better get to bed so that I can get a good night's rest and wake up fresh as a daisy in the morning. Good girl. Well, the official breakfast is at 7.30. You'll get your full schedule then, and we'll start the pictures after. Fab. And no abbreviations either, dear. Fabulous. You know, Gloria, last year my girl was third runner-up. Well, I wouldn't want to put on any jinx or anything, but this year, if looks count, I think I've got the winner. Oh. Well, thanks, Kay. Good night. Good night. Midgen of cold cream, Janice. So your lips will slide back over your teeth when you smile. I'll remember. That's it. And tomorrow we'll practice walking. Now, the one thing you have to be careful of is having your own style. I'm supposed to walk exactly like everybody else. Absolutely. You don't want to distract the judges from your other qualities. Oh, Miss Logan, do you really think I have a chance? Now, would I be your chaperone trainer if I didn't think you did? Oh, you're so wonderful. I don't follow you. Pamela, we have to deal with things as they are. This is the Miss American Beauty Contest. Your competition is white, Anglo-Saxon Protestant, with maybe a closet Catholic or two. You want me to pretend I'm not black? Pamela, everyone can see that you are. Don't you understand? To emphasize it would be to invite all kinds of reactions. Well, some in your favor, but sad to say some against. So what am I supposed to do? You have to be more white than anyone else. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Two, three, four. Well? Just perfect, darling. I don't know. My spot walkovers didn't feel so smooth. They were perfect. I think I'll try it again. One, no! Two, three, four. Uh, forgive me, Melinda. <laughs> I'm afraid you're overdoing it. You wouldn't want to wake up stiff, would you? But I do this six hours every day at home. Yes, I'm sure, dear. 
But remember, here there's more tension. Tension? I hadn't thought of that. And what is the best medicine for tension? A good night's rest. Now, I'm just over here across the hall. And remember, lock your door. And Mrs. Bertrand? I've, I've never slept away from home alone before. Don't be afraid, dear. Sooner or later, it happens to us all. Miss Dawson. Oh, hello. I'm Janet Pine, your official chaperone. Oh, Miss Pine, I guess we ought to have a little talk. Exactly. As I was saying, the trip and all, I have an awful headache. Oh, you poor darling. Well, I have something right well, here. Well, I've already taken something. Surefire. Why don't we meet uh, in the morning? The official breakfast. Oh, yes. Okay, thank you. Good night. Well, uh, good night. I do hope you feel better. Oh, Miss Lowry. Hello, Angelique. May I come in for a minute? Sure. Please do. I have your schedule here for tomorrow. There you are. Oh, thank you. Oh, there's been a family crisis with your chaperone. She won't be able to get here until day after tomorrow. Oh, but all the I'll other girls... I'll act as your chaperone until then. Oh. oh, it's all right. I'm supposed to help any girl who needs it. You won't be getting any advantage. Well, this isn't flattery. But I think you're very direct. And I might add intelligent. I'll take that as flattery. Okay. You know something? I think you have a good chance of winning. It would mean so much. And I won't press by asking why. I'm sure you know this contest is honest, but there are pressures, all right, and uh, well, sometimes the winner seems to be the last girl anyone would choose. You see, it all comes down to the judges, and they're only human. Now, for example, off the record, of course, Ralph Dupre. The movie producer. He's a judge? Well, he's replacing a famous photographer who's taken ill. Have you met Mr. Dupre? No, but I'd sure like to. You would not. I beg your pardon? Oh, you might find him most charming. But any involvement with a judge is cause for disqualification. Please remember that. Miss Dawson? Dinner for me? And that ain't all. Yeah. Yeah. Yo, I knew you could do it. Ah, nothing to do. Of course, someone's gonna wonder where they meet with you. <laughs> Wait. What if they catch us? Ah, no way, huh? But if they do, you know the rules. I could get thrown out. Well, so what? Hey, T.O., you forgetting how all this got started? Huh, the drive-in, sop down a couple beers, and I double dog dare you. It's a joke. This beauty contest is just a joke, a big joke. But I won, didn't I? Maybe I can do it again here, too. <laughs> I love you. I love you! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I get you. I get you. Yeah, I get you. <laughs> I got you, T.L. I got you. Come on, give me a little kiss. I love you. I uh, just wanted to give you the schedule of activities for tomorrow. Oh, thanks, Miss Lowry. You know, Miss Dawson, I was really sorry your friend couldn't stay. Oh, well, rules are rules. <laughs> oh, they're far more than that, I can assure you. They're the means by which we keep this contest going. Do you realize how many people's jobs depend on this? I never thought about it that way. Oh, you should, Miss Dawson. A few years back, one selfish girl didn't, and she was the winner. It turned out she had a husband and a year-old child. Oh, good Lord. Of course, she had to forfeit her prize money and her scholarship. And the last thing anyone heard of her, she was divorced. 
Oh, that's terrible. Well, Miss Lowry, I can guarantee I'm still Miss Dawson, and I sure don't have any kind of a kid. <laughs> Good night. Heard every word. But so what? She's long gone. Look, to hell, I got to thinking while I was in there. Those other heifers you're up against, they ain't so hot. Ooh. Well, maybe you do got a chance. <laughs> I don't know. I just don't want to kill her. Honey, we just got started. Yeah, but she must have seen this here. I heard her. She was warning you. Joe, why don't you get me all worked up and now leave? I'll see you tomorrow. Get back here. beautiful morning of my whole life. I can't even think when you're so beautiful. And isn't Miss Lowry gorgeous? Honey, your mascara's rang. Girls, may I, may I have your attention, please? Uh, may I say that this is the first opportunity I've had to see you all together, and I have never seen a lovelier group. You see? Uh, now, please, uh, just continue eating, but lend me, if you will, just one ear. Uh, there are just so many hours in a day, and I have a lot of ground to cover. But uh, as I do each year, I am welcoming you now. I always do this. I always uh, impress the girls with the hard work uh, that is to come you will be taught uh, the official responsibility to contest regulations. You want to win this? I wouldn't be here if I didn't. How about you? What do you think? Official smiling, and oh yes. Well, back home, I work in a diner. Truckers, salesmen, and a lot of bull flying around. A lot of work, too. This is nice here. And to formally introduce to you a lovely lady who truly needs... you're really sensational looking. And if a Negro could win, You'd win. Former Miss American Beauty, star of motion pictures and television, Miss Peggy Lowry. <laughs> Thank you. You look marvelous, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. As I stand here, I realize the last thing you want to hear is a long speech by an older woman. Oh, oh, no. Why does she say oh, that? Yeah, she's beautiful. Oh. <laughs> it works every year. <laughs> <laughs> I am sorry, truly sorry, that only one of you will have this great honor bestowed upon you. Because my year as Miss American Beauty was the happiest one of my life. Despite the pleasures, however, the honor carries grave responsibilities. You, you women in crowns, one of whom will wear the crown of crowns, must be an example for all women. You'll be copied and admired, and your words will be quoted in papers all over the world. You'll inspire other girls to follow in your footsteps. Well, there's really nothing more to say. You've already been judged the most beautiful and talented girls in this country. So win or lose, hold your heads high. And always remember in your hearts that you were judged worthy of being a contestant in the Miss American Beauty Contest. Thank you. something on ecology. Like having them spell it? <laughs> oh, be serious now. I think a question on ecology is definitely in order. Yes, but then we'll have to get into oil spills, smog, water pollution. It wouldn't be very fitting, would it? Uh, the next subject is women's fashions. Get into that and we won't be able to shut them up. 
uh, not if we steer them into opinions on bikinis, uh, see-throughs. Uh, then we'll have their attitudes on sexuality in fashions. Good point, Mr. Dupre. Though we know they'll all act like Queen Victoria. Oh, but to what extent? We might even have some fun. All right, women's fashions. Next is favorite books and why. Now remember, girls, we do not walk the same way in a bathing suit as we do in a gown. Hold your heads up high. That's it. That's it. But feel like you're carrying a book on your head. the negotiations must be, but can't you get one of your vice presidents to take your place? You know I can't do that. Vice presidents don't make these decisions. <sighs> yes, yes, you keep telling me that. Then why have any vice presidents? Listen to me, darling. You know I'll make it if I can. Daddy. If I'm lucky enough to make those finals, and I'm up there in front of all those people, and all I know is that in you're in some hotel room watching it on TV. <laughs> Don't cry, sweetheart. Don't cry. Now, now Daddy. if all goes well here, I'll make it. I promise you I'll make it. What? I promise you I'll make it. You mean if all goes well at the next meeting, you'll be here? Keep your fingers crossed. Oh, Daddy, if you could, I, I wouldn't even care if I lost. Stay beautiful and keep your fingers crossed. What? <laughs> yes, I'll keep my fingers crossed. And darling, don't forget that surprise I have for you. Oh, yes, I know I'll love my surprise. I must go. I love you. Bye bye now, Daddy. I love you. Linda, dear, I owe you an apology. I was so tired the first night that I didn't realize how tremendous you are. Gee, thanks. But I don't have a chance. But that's ridiculous. I'm dumb. I got good grades in high school because we had a terrific football team. And I was kind of the mascot, you know, out in front of thousands of people at halftime. But when those judges start asking questions, Melinda, stop it. All I read are magazines with lots of pictures. My dear, you are not ignorant. A certified genius wouldn't impress the judges as much as a sweet and honest girl like yourself. You're just saying that. Because it's true, believe me. Be yourself. It's as simple as that. And let the show-offs do what they like. But nothing will impress the judges more than sincerity. Be yourself, Melinda, and you'll win. And now, let's practice smiling. Ta-da! Oh, T.L., it's terrific. Absolutely terrific. Where did you ever get the idea of doing it? Oh, you won't believe it. From a girl I think hates me, ugly Edna, we call her, but not to her face, of course. Well, when she heard I was in a ring for Miss Texas, she said... Why don't you do the chic of Araby for the talent part? And I did. That's heaven. Absolute heaven. Don't change a single, solitary thing. Oh, if you say so, but it's not going to win it for me. Don't say that. Well, but really, it's just a big joke. See, my boyfriend, Joe Bunch, Double Dog dared me, and here I am, so what's to lose? Yeah, I'll tell you something. It might have started as a joke, but it's not a joke anymore. Do you realize what this could mean to you if you won? It could change your entire life. Oh, that's kind of scary. <laughs> yeah, if you hate money and travel. And I don't want to insult your friend Joe Bunch, but, you know, you would have the pick of the most attractive men in this country. 
Well, you know, I'm a waitress in a diner, and Joe works in a garage. And I sort of figured on little house and a color TV and two kids. And I keep working so we could save enough money to buy a camper and take little trips. You know, a lot of people have it a lot worse. Oh, dear. I want you to win. I really want you to win. <sighs> glide, glide. No, I've had it. I beg your pardon? I'm walking exactly like everyone else. <laughs> that happens to be the idea. Fifty girls, fifty, count them in the assembly line. The only way I'm going to be noticed is if I fall off the ramp. Oh, no, Gloria, you're much too beautiful not to be noticed. It's very flattering, Kay, but I don't believe it. Just think of the most recent communique from headquarters, the official hairstyle. Yeah, but that's the way it's always done. <sighs> but there's no encouragement for individuality. Well, we're all going to look like plastic dolls up there. All they have to do is stick a key up our back and wind us up. Hello, I'm Gloria Rockwell. I'm Miss Oklahoma. <laughs> Gloria, what in the world has happened to you? You're not at all like that girl I met the first night. I'm sorry, Kay. I guess it must just be the pressures. Believe me, I appreciate everything you're doing. And if I do win, I'm going to be sure to tell the world what all of you are doing for all of us girls. <laughs> Miss Maine is a cinch. Maybe we'd better wait till the judging's over. The judging is over. What's that supposed to mean? If I assure Miss Maine that she will win, I assume she will be very grateful. Ralph, I'm warning you. Now, baby, don't warn me. Don't play the virgin saint and remember how you won. It was a long time ago. But you got what you wanted. If I remember correctly, your exact words that night when you came to my room were, I'll do anything to win. Anything. So here we are, the same faces in the same places. And I want a favor from you. And little Miss May. With all the girls available to you in this town, at the studio, why this girl? Because I'm a very simple man at heart, and I like everything fresh. Oh, you're sick. You're... Peggy, you must send me this girl. Because I may give out a story to the press that will hurt the beauty pageant. It may even uh, shut it down once and for all. And I would hate to do that. Finish your drink. But you need it. That's right. Just my mother and a timber wolf. You have a timber wolf at home? Mm -hmm. Raised him from a pup. Or I guess you'd say cub. Hey, tell me something. I've been told that your boyfriend's here. <laughs> and that you rode all the way out here on the back of his motorcycle. Right. But he's very careful. Uh, any plans to get married? Me? Oh, no, gentlemen. Well, Mr. Bunch is just a friend. We're not even engaged. And Miss New Mexico. Oh. My, where are you from in New Mexico? Tularosa. Tularosa. Yes. Well, I've never been there. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. And Miss Florida. My goodness, my, you're lovely. Thank this you. is terrible. It's like and cattle in line. Meat on the hoof. I think and it's degrading. Iowa. Not to me. Mason City? No, I'm away from my parents for the first time in the silly little town I live in. This is a ticket to some place for me. Thank you, nice. Thank you. Are you enjoying yourself? Good, good. Nice to see you. Miss Ohio? And where are you from? From Cleveland. From Cleveland, yes. Ohio. Isn't that wonderful? Well, independence, really. Independence? Well, that's right. Close by. Right. Thank you. I'm practicing. Hey, what's with this story in the newspaper? Well, I had to say that. Why did he have to say that? 
Joe, I don't stand a chance with you here. I'm losing you. What? I'm losing you, right? No, you're not losing me. Then what? But if you really want me to win, go home. Go home? I'll blow you a kiss on TV. Remember when I warned you about the slightest hint of scandal? Yes, why? So what do I find? Our director in, in the bar and getting drunk. <laughs> Damn, really. I am over 21. And the girls are with their chaperone. It, it, I don't care where the girls are. Now, obviously, you don't care who they are. You must have uh, screened them with your eyes closed. What are you talking about? Truth. I'm talking about one, Miss Texas. Miss T.L. Dawson. She's a missus. She's married. Married? Yes. To that motorcycle freak, Joe Bunch. You're joking. Well, then you better see to it that the press gets the joke and quick, because at this very minute, in the patio dining room, Mr. Bunch is holding a press conference. Oh. Hello. Now, wait a minute, before you go. One other thing. There's some dirty rumors going around. Oh, for the days when all you had to do was decide which girl was the prettiest. What rumors? A member of a well-organized women's lib protest group is one of our contestants. You're kidding. Any suspicions who? Not the faintest. Only hours to go and this whole thing is blowing up. Don't worry, Dan. Whatever it is, I'll take care of it all. One other thing. I've been stalling Dupree. Now, he wants to see me about you. Utmost importance. Any idea what that might be about? No, not at all. I'll see what he wants. And whatever it is, I'll take care of that, too. <laughs> we lied. We just lied. Now, we didn't say that we weren't married or anything. It's just that I was her boyfriend. Well, you misled everyone. Yeah. Yeah, I guess so. We weren't going to till we got to the finals of Houston. And it looked like... Uh, like maybe she could win. So I told her, keep quiet, T.L., just keep quiet. Oh, now, uh, why, Mr. Bunch, have you waited until now to reveal this fact? Well, because I... Well, I personally feel she's got a good chance of winning. I just wouldn't be fair to all the others. Joe Bunch, just what'd you say to these people? Well, just the truth, darling. Darling? They hardly know each other. We what? We just went to the same school and come from the same state. Well, you're a damn liar, T.L. I got into you. And you? Silence. Miss Dawson, on the Bible. I swear on the Bible that I'm not married. And may my mother oh, be... Oh, that's enough, dear. Now, gentlemen, I'm, I'm sure you won't hurt this girl's chances by publicizing this lie. Well, that's good. There's no story here. Another way for the That was beautiful. Now, uh, what's the real story? You're the newsman, Mr. Elliot. Joe, why? What'd you say? I was just a friend. Well, I never give you a ring and all, but we've agreed ever since. It's I... what I was supposed to say. No girl's gonna win unless she's. Free. Good day, Mr. Bunch. And goodbye. Now listen, you can't. I tell. will have you arrested if I ever see you near this girl again. Can you do that? Try me. Come along, Miss Dawson.
Ramp acts I've ever seen. I'll bet she's seen every old movie ever shown on TV. But she hasn't. She's playing it straight. Of course, it may not be true. A spy? Well, it's just a rumor. But uh, I've come to you because... Well, you've impressed me as one of the more intelligent girls, and I'd be grateful for your help if you hear anything. Well, I certainly will, Miss Lowry. But I must admit something. I am sympathetic to him, Miss Lowry. There should be more to that sentence. There is. I hope they get everything they're fighting for. But there's a time and a place to fight. This is probably selfish of me, but I want to win this. Finish my studies and hopefully have a career as a musician. Good girl. In return for the favor, a little advice that might be helpful. Don't let the judges know that you're sympathetic to the Lib movement. Oh, I'd rather die. Prodigious and untimely brought to light, whose ugly and unnatural aspect may fright the hopeful mother at the view, and that be heir to his unhappiness. If ever he have wife, let her be made more miserable by the death of him than I am made by my young lord and thee. Well, Dupre, you're the expert. No. No, but I think she could have tried something easier. It's courageous on her part. That girl with the acrobatic dance. And the Miss Sheik of Araby knocked me out. But uh, we are looking for people with real talent, aren't we? I'm not going to do it. What I did years ago was my own decision. I'm not going to decide for that girl. Very well. In exactly one hour, I hold a press conference. FCC, the sponsors, everybody to announce my resignation as a judge because every time I see these girls, it reminds me of another Miss American Beauty and how she won. You wouldn't dare incriminate yourself. Now, Peggy, these are the days of soul cleansing on television, live and in color. They love it. They eat it up. All the late night talk shows will be after me. like we may have a problem with Miss New Jersey. I think you better go see her right away. All right, thanks, Kate. You're Pamela Parker. That's right. Fifty girls. I think you had a great memory if I wasn't so easy to remember. What's wrong, dear? I just got the call. What call? From my people. They say if I let myself be used like this... They'll what? Use your imagination. Bomb your house? Break your legs? What? Let's just say I won't be very happy at home. Oh, look, let's face it. I miss New Jersey because of a black population percentage, right? Well, I finally had it. I'm quitting. And I don't want any of your honky sympathy because you just wouldn't understand. Oh, nobody can stop you, Pamela. But what will you win? You would have made a gesture, one I could sympathize with, by the way, but still it won't change anything. That's why I'm leaving. Oh, they're right. Nothing's going to change this. 
You know, when I was in this contest, in all the regionals and in all the states, there wasn't one single black. Chinese, Japanese, Indian or Mexican-American. We were absolute white supremacy. But you went along. That was many years ago, and times are changing. Pretty slow. Do you want to know something? If you go along with them for whatever reasons they have, nobody will ever see that they're changing. The next year, there'll be more like you. Oh, I know that all over the world, there are people who are sick and starving and fighting and dying. And then there's this great big deal of a Miss American Beauty contest. It all seems very unimportant. But it is important. Whoever called you, tell them you decided to stay because you knew you'd lose. But you'd win something bigger. Have you ever stopped to think about the millions of other black and brown kids out there watching who'll see that it's possible to get a piece of an American dream? Courage can be contagious. Do you really believe that? Yes, I do. I'm going to prove it. You're making a terrible mistake. I'm sorry, Angelique. You see, when you get older, fear comes with the territory. A long time ago, I made a terrible mistake, and today it caught up with me. I was going to pay off my benefactor by betraying you. But it's your life. A word of warning, though. Don't do it. Because one day, you'll be standing where I am. Uh, Peggy, you uh, do understand that the entire uh, beauty contest is going to explode. Right in your face. It already has. Only it fizzled. Before coming to you, she came to me. And I went to our arch enemy, Mr. Elliot, of the news. I didn't lie and I didn't beg. But I never would have believed his reaction. What did he say, Dan? Uh, he said he only wanted uh, today's news. Of course, I could have told him what you tried today. Uh, you mean he was not interested to print that uh, her entire career was a fraud and that this uh, contest can be bought? According to him, it's ancient history, and uh, nobody's going to print it. Oh, he's a fool. Well, he's not going to print that either. Mr. Dupre, when I first came in here, I was willing to do anything to win this contest. I wanted to be exactly like Peggy Lowry. And I still want that. I want to be exactly like her in every way. Maybe someday I will. Now, if you'll all excuse me, I'm going to my room to get ready. Uh, it is my official and happy duty to inform you that you have just been replaced. Oh, and uh, checkout time is, is now. Uh, Peggy, you are going to have your little contest as you wished it. Clean, proper, uncorrupted, as it should be. Congratulations. Come on, Peg, dear. We have work to do. I almost believe it. You almost believe what? The first time in years, I believe I might have won without him. <laughs> I don't believe there was ever any doubt. You know something, Dan? This just might turn out to be one hell of a contest.
We're fortunate tonight in having the expertise of one of the loveliest and most famous Miss American beauties of all, Miss Peggy Lowry, who'll be with us in a moment. factors involved, uh, talent, bathing suit, and in-depth interviews by our distinguished panel of judges. And now a brief message from our sponsor. Sorry, miss, but not tonight. You can't do that. No, you're the one that can't. You forgot to apply for permission. Go back on the bus. Oh, oh, not on private property, you know. Oh, yeah. oh, no, Too nice. Ladies and gentlemen, that magical moment draws near. You have just seen the 50 most beautiful girls in our country. You have heard them talk, and you have watched them perform. And now it is my great privilege and pleasure to present them to you all together. And here they are. I'm sure that most of you are familiar with the unique uh, structure of the Miss American Beauty contest. Uh, considering poise, beauty, and talent, five finalists have been chosen, but only one will be crowned. The remaining will be special ladies of honor. Of course, they will receive many, many valuable prizes, and they can be proud for the rest of their lives that they were among the five most beautiful of the 50 most beautiful. And now, for the five finalists, may I have your decision, please? Thank you very much. He is most exciting. It's very, very nervous making. <coughs> Miss Oklahoma! Congratulations, wonderful. All right, you did. Miss New Jersey. Congratulations. 
congratulations. Thank Wonderful. You. Thank you so much. And Miss Ohio. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Texas! And now, for the question. The secret question to determine character. Even I have not seen this question. The judges will base their final decisions on the merits of each girl's answer. Miss New Jersey, would you come forward, please, and may I have the question? Thank you. And the secret question, as you can see, is, what is happiness to you? Happiness, well, happiness to me is peace and brotherhood. It's contagious. It's contagious. <laughs> well, 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 peace. Peace and brotherhood. It's simple, it's direct, and believe me, no statesman could have said it better. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. And now, please, Miss Texas. And uh, what is happiness to you? Peace for sure, and health, and I guess, as Charlie Brown says, a warm puppy. <laughs> 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 oh, warm puppy. Well, ladies and gentlemen, you can see that these girls also have a sense of humor. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Miss Texas. Thank you. And now, Miss Oklahoma, please. Happiness is love. Love of each other. Love of the creatures blessed to be our companions and love in him whose love is our greatest happiness. My goodness, that, that, that is beautiful, simply beautiful. Thank you, thank you so much. And now, Miss Maine. I can't possibly improve on what's been said. So I'll just say that happiness is, is this moment and being a part of this wonderful contest and knowing girls like these. Beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Boy, I tell you, this is going to be a hard decision. Very, very difficult. And now for Miss Ohio. What does happiness mean to you, Miss Ohio? To me, happiness is everyone in the world, in no matter what language, waking up to say, thank you, Lord, for another son. And that again, when the time comes, as it must for us all to say, thank you, Lord, my race is run. I don't know. I just don't know how all of these girls can be so wonderful. Thank you. Thank you, my dear. And now, while our distinguished judges are marking their ballots, which incidentally are authenticated by the accounting firm of Whitney Corbett, music, maestro, please. Well, Peg, what did you think? Well, I just don't know what to say, Mario. 
I really think this is the loveliest group of finalists we've ever had. I was personally impressed by uh, Gloria Rockwell, Miss Oklahoma. But then again, Angelique Denby, Miss Maine, not only looked stunning, but was most gracious. Oh, indeed she was. But don't overlook Miss Ohio, Melinda Wilson. To create a poem the way she did, unprepared, was nothing short of miraculous. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. May I have the evidence, please? Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, as you have guessed, the judges have reached a verdict. And as I said before, the two girls who will not be crowned will be special ladies of honor, and they should be honored, and they should be acclaimed by all of us. <coughs> and now, the second runner-up of Miss American Beauty is... Wilson. You are lovely, and may I say that you have been a beautiful contestant and a wonderful contestant. Congratulations and thank you. Mr. Corson, thank you. <laughs> You're very welcome. And don't worry, we'll see her again because she is one of our ladies of honor. And now, the first runner-up of Miss American Beauty is Miss Maine Angelique Denby. Congratulations, congratulations. And Angelique, may I say that you also are a beautiful girl and have been a magnificent contestant. Thank you. Thank you. And now, the tension mounts, ladies and gentlemen. May I have the bearers of the royal crown, the royal robe, and the royal scepter, and last year's Miss American Beauty, Betty Sue Allen. <laughs> Your Majesty, you're looking as lovely as ever. Ladies and gentlemen, that moment has arrived. May I have that envelope, please? Thank you. Our number one, Miss American Beauty. Subjects await. When I was a little girl, long before I ever dreamed of tonight, When I was a little girl,
every little girl in every little town dreams of tonight to be her to be Miss American Beauty <laughs> I am so overwhelmed that I just don't know what to say. I just didn't know how much I wanted to win. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you all very much.